Programming the WeatherTrack ET Plus for water restriction compliance. We'll be referring to these controls during this tutorial. The function selector knob, the upper line knob, and the lower line knob. Or think of the upper line knob being used to change the question, and the lower line knob is used to change the answer. Making sure the time and date are set correctly on your WeatherTrack ET Plus is an important first step. Turn the function selector knob to setup to display the year. Turn the lower line knob to adjust the year. Turn the upper line knob to the right to display the month. And use the lower line knob to adjust as needed. Turn the upper line knob to the right again to display the day. And the lower line knob to make your adjustment. Setting the current time is just as easy. Continue to turn the upper line knob to the right to display the hour. And use the lower line knob to adjust. Turn it to the right once again to display the minute and use the lower line knob to make your adjustment. We're almost finished. Turn the upper line knob to the right again, and use the lower line knob to select your time zone. Once complete, turn the upper line knob to the right. If you want your controller to follow daylight savings, choose yes. If not, use the lower line knob and select no. You have successfully set the time and date on your controller. Return the controller to the run position, and let's move on to the next section. Let's set the start time and water window duration on your WeatherTrack ET+. The water window is a user-defined window of time when irrigation can occur on a given day. The program the controller calculates may be shorter or longer than that window. If the watering time needed is longer than what's available, it will be carried over onto the next watering day. To set the start time, turn the function selector knob to schedule. Use the lower line knob to choose the schedule you'd like the start time to be applied to. Schedule A, B, or user. Let's choose schedule A. Turn the upper line knob to the right to get to select irrigation start hour and change the hour with the lower line knob. Once you've set what hour you'd like your irrigation to start running, Let's use the upper line knob, turn it to the right, and now let's change the minutes. Use the lower line knob to do this. Now we'll set the water window duration. Turn the upper line knob to the right, and use the lower line knob to adjust the hours. Based off of your start time, you can see the end time displayed in the parentheses. The maximum run time can be 23 hours and 59 minutes. The minimum can be six hours. We'll set ours to seven. Now turn the upper line knob to the right to adjust the minutes. In this example, I've set it for seven hours and 30 minutes. It's displaying an end time of 9.30 a.m. You've successfully created a start time and a water window duration. Let's return the dial to the run position and move on to the next section. During extreme weather conditions, your WeatherTrack ET Plus may need to water more than once on a given day. To prevent this supplemental watering from occurring during a water restriction period, we'll need to change what's called the high ET start time. Let's begin by turning the function selector knob to schedule, the upper line knob until you see set high ET start hour, then turn the lower line knob to the right until you see 9 p.m. If supplemental watering is needed, it will occur at that time. Return the function selector knob to the run position. There are four water day mode options for you to choose on your WeatherTrack ET Plus. To get to them, turn the dial to schedule and the upper line knob to the right until you see select water days. The four water day modes are as follows set by WeatherTrack odd even, interval, and days of week. By selecting with the lower line knob, set by weather track enables you to exclude one day a week from watering. Odd even enables watering to occur only on odd or even days of the week. Interval enables watering to occur only on interval days, for example, every two days 
or every seven days. Days of week enables watering to occur only on specific days of the week and is programmed specifically for each month of the year. Let's turn the lower knob to the right until we see set by weather track. Setting the watering day mode set by weather track on your weather track ET+. Take the function selector knob and turn it to schedule. Use the upper line knob until you see select water days. Use the lower line knob and make sure you see set by weather track on the screen. Use the upper line knob and turn it to the right. You are now able to choose a specific day of the week you do not want your irrigation system to water on. To do this, turn the lower line knob and select that day of the week. When finished, turn the function selector knob to the run position. Some local water restrictions require you water on odd or even days. To do this, turn the function selector knob to schedule and the upper line knob until you see select water days on the screen. Now, turn the lower line knob to the right until you see odd even. This mode enables watering to occur only on odd or even days of the week. Turn the upper line knob one click to the right and the lower line knob to select either odd or even. By default, the controller is set to odd. This will allow watering to only occur on odd numbered days. If you select odd, the controller will allow watering on the last odd numbered day of the current month and the first day of the following month. To change the setting to even, turn the lower line knob one click to the right. To return the setting to odd, turn the lower line knob one click to the left. When you've made your selection, return the function selector knob to the run position. Some local watering restrictions require irrigation to occur on interval days. To select this option, turn the function selector knob to schedule and the upper line knob to select water days. Adjust the lower line knob until you see interval on the screen. Turn the upper line knob to the right to display your interval options. To change the watering interval, turn the lower line knob to select the different intervals. The interval options range between one day and 31 days. The default setting is one day, which indicates that irrigation will be allowed to occur every day. For this example, we'll leave it at two days, every other day. Return the function selector knob to the run position. Your local water restriction may require you water a specific number of days a week. The days of week mode will enable you to accomplish this. Turn the function selector knob to schedule and the upper line knob till it says select water days. Adjust the lower line knob until you see days of week on the screen. Turn the upper line knob to the right. You'll see a month represented, the days of week, and the letter Y underneath. Turn the upper line knob to move the cursor underneath each day of the week. The Y signifies watering will occur. Turn the lower line knob till a dash appears to prevent watering from occurring on that particular day. Repeat this process by turning the upper line knob, choosing another day, and then the lower line knob to omit that day from the watering schedule. This process needs to be repeated for every month of the year. Every month can have a completely different selection of days. In California, for example, watering is only allowed two days per week. This is the watering mode that will enable you to accomplish this. Simply go month by month, select the days you want to water, and omit the other ones. Turn the upper line knob to the right to continue scrolling through the months. Make sure to select or omit days 
for every month. When finished, you'll see Schedule Complete on the screen. Return the Function Selector knob to the Run position. When programming your controller to comply with strict watering restrictions, it is not unusual to have an alert. This means your WeatherTrack ET Plus controller is doing its job in making sure you know that there might not be adequate time available to meet the watering demands of your landscape. However, it's important to still comply with your local water restrictions.